You're welcome. You're still watching Breakfast Daily. Make sure you're on an RX and reposting for all and sundry to see. Now, this is a discussion about coaching. Let me give you a brief background of what coaching really means and its empowering into this country and the world at large. Now, after 25 years, the International Coaching Federation has evolved to become the hub of all things coaching. We are more than a membership organization for trained professional coaches. We are bringing together in one place several key aspects of the growing industry. Discover the ICF ecosystem of six family organizations created to better serve you on your journey to empower the world through coaching. Most of us who watch football, we are more than coaches. Yeah. <laughs> we are more than coaches. In fact, the number of things we can say, if the coach could hear us, sometimes they'll even collapse and say, ah, Master, I can't take the job. <laughs> you won't understand what the coaches go through. But for you to have a better understanding, we have in-house Skofre Nanayao Yeboa, transformational coach, president of the International Coaching Federation Ghana chapter, and Malcolm Phyllis, ICF Regional Director, Europe and Africa. Gentlemen, you're very welcome. Thank you. Thank Good you. Morning. In fact, I love football, mm. but what you do, I don't understand. I think I understand. Mm. So when the players are on the field, I talk what I like. But mm. in fact, tell us in brief what co coaching itself entails. Let me come to you, Phyllis. Yeah, so thank you for having us. Um, so quite interesting that you make the analogy about football. Mm. And when you look at football, you know, the coach will tell you what to do. Sure. Mm. They observe you they, and they send a message down to the field, you know, move here, move there. Right. And then our couch coaches is the best coaches. They oh. will shout through the TV and make that player <laughs> feel that he's actually needing to move. I know. When it comes to professional coaching in the context where we are at, mm -hmm. the coach is there as a support, almost like a co-pilot to mm. the one who actually leads, right. who is the client. And so what we do is we partner with the client in a thinking capacity, untapped potential that we unlock mm. in that client so that they are able to live the life that they need to. Mm. So if we go back to the soccer example, mm. this is where a coach says, you say you should have done that. Why did you not do that? Right. How would you do it differently next mm. time? Right. What mm. are the thinking processes that you need to go through? Right. And really just enhancing who the person is and bringing that out from them themselves, mm. as opposed to directing, but partnering with them so that they can be the best version of themselves and score the goals that they need to score in, uh, in life, whatever that might be, a new career, maybe a, a new starting their own business, mm. um, or just in the community or in their family to do something different. Right. I link this to coaching because it's somewhat of leadership. Mm. There we go. The entire groups that we form even our offices, our works, everywhere we find ourselves, there's always a leader there mm. who has to coach and guide us mm. through what we have to do. Mm. Now, how can Ghana share in this, Nanaya? Well, I think um, the better part of it is having the ICF Ghana chapter here. Mm. And I want to acknowledge our director in charge of Africa and Europe for seeing that Ghana is worth it and said that, guys, you should come together and we mm. want to support you with the right needed guide to become mm. a chapter. And here we are about launching the ICF Ghana chapter. So it is bringing coaches who have gone to competent school of jurisdiction that are actually accredited also by the ICF mm. because ICF coaches must support client in certain standards. Yeah. We have eight competencies that your coaching sessions must meet all those eight competences. Mm. We have ethics, right. we have standards, mm. we have values, mm. and we have the prof professional ethics you must hold. Mm. Yeah. So it's the first space to introduce into the nation and say mm. that we have training that has been happening, yeah. we have mentoring that is also going mm -hmm. on. But the base for these two things to happen should be coaching mm. because the individual are their own CEOs. Yeah. We may be sharing the same size 45 shoes, mm -hmm. <laughs> but because of the size of our feet in the shoes, mm -hmm. it adjusts the shoes. It True. means when I come into your shoe, I may not, not fit, fit in. into it. Yeah. So I should be careful telling you how 
your toe must fit in your own shoe. I like that. The coach will let you know it is your shoe. Mm -hmm. So we need to question why is it tilted? Yeah. Perhaps mm. you've not monitored how you walk. Mm. Right. What gets you to walk the way you walk? Mm. Right. What what is directing you? Mm. What is in pursuit of you? Mm -hmm. And where are you going? If you're an athlete on the track, you don't wear shoes. No. You wear spikes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you must train <coughs> with it before you can walk in. If you were a model, you mm -hmm. must learn how to walk in this mm. cow cow steps yeah. and all that. <laughs> <laughs> so as a coach, mine is to question why do you want to be a model? Right. Why do you want to be a broadcast journalist? Mm. Why do you want to be a teacher? Mm. Why do you want to be a professor? Mm. Mm. The moment that why is duly evoked, everything else about the what, the how, mm. the where, the when all begins to play out mm. for your growth and development mm. so that the workspace can thrive. Mm. Now, right. in the beginning, when um, you're talking about people who are just starting out, mm. what's the basics mm. of coaching, coaching for beginners? Mm. Yeah, so starting with the basics is starting with education. Mm. Mm. And it's one of those things where we've got a lot of coaches that assume the name of coach. Mm without having gone through the training. Mm. Mm. That's like somebody becoming a media specialist mm. without understanding anything about media. media. Mm. It does not make sense. Mm. And so as I said, what we want to do is we want to advance coaching excellence, which means that we've got preset requirements of coach education. And so we accredit institutions that run coaching programs. So the first start to anybody that wants to become a coach, get the education that covers the core competencies. Mm. It's like trying to be a soccer coach without having skills of soccer at all. Mm. Mm. You don't even know what's an offside. Mm. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> so we need to make sure that our coaches that then serve their clients yeah. are actually properly equipped with the skills mm. and coach according to those core competencies. Mm. In that same training, you also get taught the code of ethics. Mm. Ethical behavior is very important. And mm. one of the biggest ethical elements within our conduct is confidentiality. confidentiality. Okay. What the two of us discuss in it. our session yeah. stays between the Stay two between of us. us. Because within a coaching relationship, there should be trust. Yeah. Mm. Once that trust is broken, mm. the client has not opened up, yeah. which means there's no opportunity for the client to grow. Mm. So the basic is start with your education. Mm. After that, once you've got your certification, so you've completed your studies, mm -hmm. challenge yourself to get a credential. And mm. in ICF, we've got three credentials. Right. We've got the Associate Certified Coach, which is the, the first level then the professional certified coach, and then the master certified coach. Mm. And each one of them, so when you see the title MCC, mm -hmm. you know this person at least has 2,500 hours of experience mm. wow. of coaching. Wow. They've done more than 100 to 300 hours of coach-specific training. Mm. Wow. A PCC is someone that, you're a PCC, right? Yeah. Mm. Somebody like him, at least 500 hours of coach. So you, may, you know that you can trust yourself, mm. you can trust your staff, you can trust your community in the hands of this person because okay. they've got the experience, they've got the education, mm. and they're affiliated to an organization that takes ethics seriously. Right. Nan yeah, go ahead. Right. Nanayo, I'm a Ghanaian. Mm. How do I benefit from this? Because this is already sounding and ties into me. I just want to get up and join. Mm. You see, if you understand the impact of coaching mm. on you the individual mm -hmm. from even your hair to your toe you want to put your money into it or right. invest in coaching because mm. one you are more than just a thinking thing right you mm. are a human being mm. so coaching aids that beingness of you to to on earth right. because where you were born the parents that raised you, the church you attended, even the course you studied in school, so there are some aspects of them that become what we call limiting beliefs. Mm. 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 They limit yeah. and, and put a cap on yeah, how far you can go. Thinking. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why we say mind search. search. It means it's not just what you think, it's even where you grow. Yeah. Mm. Because if you are able to go through coaching, I can ask, how do you feel about what you just said? Mm. How do you feel about what you did? Mm. How do you feel about what you gave? Mm. The moment that feeling question is asked, you begin to assess your purpose in life. Mm. Right. How is that thing connected to my purpose? Because at the end goal of coaching mm. is well-being, mm. is performance, productivity, is life satisfaction, psychological safety. So these are what coaching will give to you. Mm. That other um, supporting 
um, cycles will not be able to give. Let me give you an example from the company front. Right. There is a company called Intel. So all the laptops you are using, there is a chip in it mm. that the manufacturer is Intel. Mm. Intel for the past 17 years have invested in coaching. Mm. Just coaching alone is giving them 1 billion US dollars mm. as ROI. Just from that coaching plug-in, wow. they won what we call the Prism Award, Prism Award yeah. from, from ICF. Okay. So then begin to ask yourself, what is it that will make a company make such a benefit? Because when the mm. individual is inspired, mm. when the individual's life, purposes, career path gets transformed, mm. and coaching aids you to have all this be on the target of thriving, means sustainability, mm. look, you will get wonders happening in your business mm. because the individual is experiencing something greater. I did ICM, but I didn't get the full aspects of coaching. So if you look at some of, like, if you pick um, uh, Armstrong's book in Human Resource, Human Management, Resource Management, the latest version, there are only two sheets that speaks about coaching, coaching. and mentoring. Mm. Mm. That should tell you because the faculty of coaching is the whole profession. Mm. So you can't put it into one book. <laughs> yeah, I, exactly. get it. Yeah. I get it. I get it. You can't limit it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think that um, we, we, we've, it's important for us mm. to highlight Yep. you know, the, the place of coaching. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to just walk, to walk us through um, coaching leadership mm -hmm. across board. Mm -hmm. Just generally speak to us about that and why it's important for us to have a chapter of ICF mm -hmm. here in Ghana. In Ghana. Yeah. Yeah. So coaching in terms of, in, so coaching leadership, coaching, coaching leaders, mm -hmm. if I understand it correctly. Yes. In an organization, the culture is set by the leaders. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is embraced by the staff and the organization. And so you got this dual carriageway to create the culture that we want that will help us to retain our staff, to actually improve our profits, like you mentioned with Intel, mm -hmm. and all those things. Leadership coaching, uh, can I give a personal example? Sure. Mm -hmm. I was 25 when I became a manager for the first time. Okay. And it was in a finance department. I managed 10 people mm -hmm. my very first time. I have never sniffed management before, <laughs> but that is what I get. Aww. Technically, mm. as an accountant, mm. I knew exactly what to do. Ah. But getting that's performance amazing. from somebody that's 30 years older than me, yeah. and from somebody five years younger than me, yeah. and the conflict between them mm. sorted, <laughs> told me I want to yeah. become a manager of self. Yeah. I won't be manager <laughs> of other people. Yeah. Yeah. I understand that. So what coaching does for a leader is to say, you are in this situation now. Mm. Let's help you find your authentic leadership style mm. that can help your team and the organization mm. to actually deliver the results that you want to. Yeah. Right. So in a way, as you lead, you get to, when you go through a coaching program, you get to know yourself. You understand your triggers. And so I needed to manage a lot of personal triggers. Mm. It's like, yo, this lady's here for 30 years. She tells me she's got 30 years experience. Mm. I think she's got 30 years of working here with one year's experience. Mm. <laughs> and so how do I manage myself yeah. within that? Right. And that then created a culture in my team mm. to say, wait a minute, I need to think about life differently. I need to think about my staff differently. Mm. I need to trust people. When I delegate, learn to let go. Mm. Yeah. What is stopping me from letting go? Yeah. So from a cultural perspective, it helps you as a leader to find your voice, mm. Mm. but it also helps you to be able to get that discretionary effort from your team, mm. that they actually become innovative and do things that you don't even ask them to do. Mm. Right. In terms of the chapter in Ghana, as ICF, as an organization, our vision is that coaching is an integral part to transforming societies. Mm. Now, we cannot transform society at a distance. No. Mm. No. We need to be present. And so with our local chapter, part of that is to actually say, how do we contribute to society? Mm. So yes, we've got executive coaching, team coaching within organizational space. But then also from the ICA Foundation point of view, we've got NGOs that needs access to coaching. Mm. So we run programs which we call the Ignite Project, right. Right. which provides NGOs, especially those linked to the UN Sustainable Goals, mm. Development Goals, um, coaching opportunities like pro bono coaching to actually help them experience. We also have, um, and locally, I think in Ghana last year, we had one who had a scholarship to yeah. study right. coaching and mm. that. So it's really about when the chapter is here, yeah. we bring the impact of co coaching closer. Closer. Mm. And then our mission is to advance coaching excellence and impact and value. Right. Now we cannot do that at a distance once again. No. Yeah. And that's why the chapter is here mm. to actually say, guys, when we talk about coaching, 
what is the standard. Mm. Mm -hmm. As a local chapter of the ICF global structure, we are showing that standard. Okay. We are yeah, showing the value, yeah. and that's why we are here. Awesome. Now tell us about the lunch, when it's happening, where, time, if it's free. <laughs> um, okay, starting from the last one. It's free, but strictly by invitation. As, okay. as we speak, our list, is, our bucket is full. Mm. It's taking place tomorrow, right. um, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the mm. Ecoban Headquarters Auditorium. Okay. Our focus is to get uh, him to, to he's our keynote speaker. Mm. We have um, Professor Samoni Odai, who is the um, astute academician and as well as an executive coach, leading the pack for the guest speaker's note. And we are, we are honored to have the ICF Global Chair Enterprise, the board, mm. the chairman. Mm. He is gracing the occasion as the special guest of honor. Okay. Right. Then we have two entities, MTN and Stambic Bank, mm. with one coach to share the benefit of coaching in organization mm. as a way that we will see that. Now, if you need coaches, yeah. don't go elsewhere. Yeah. You okay, come right within. And that is what we want to share with Fantastic. colleagues. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's been Thank great you. having you here. Now I Thank want to you. join. But your tablet is full. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much for coming. Thank we you. have had.